Today we're getting supplies to build a deck on front of our little bunkhouse, our RV bunkhouse. And we're at the building and material supply. They're gonna pull it for us. Put my foot against this board to keep it from moving. Great idea. Okay, ready? Yep. Plex nails, they've got two heads. You drive it in to the first head, and since this is a temporary uh, deck, we're gonna be disassembling it and using the lumber for something else, so then that gives you a second head that you can use a crowbar on to pull and pull the nails out. It makes it easier to take it apart. See, it has to come up. No, it's gotta go down. That might work. Let me, uh, we go try to find some flat rock. Looking for flat rocks. I think it was just an excuse to get on the tractor. He loves his tractor. How many rocks did you get? I only got three right now. What's flat about those? Those don't look flat to me. Relatively speaking. Oh, it's pretty level. Yeah, pretty darn close. I'm just waiting to get on that deck and jump up and down and there go the rocks. A seven and a half inch rock. <laughs> rock on side. <laughs> Wait a second, you're you're gonna go find a seven and a half inch rock. Yeah, flat rock. Flat rock. Another flat rock. <laughs> I guess you could say, I guess you could say we're using our resources. Yeah, baby, that's how big it's gonna be. In order to get a precise mark on where you wanna mark something or cut something or nail something, you make a V and then you draw the line right there where the V comes together. Okay. Tell you what, this little drill you got me for Christmas is really good. You like your little drill? Mm -hmm. What kind of drill is that? I don't a remember. Dewalt. It's a Dewalt, Dewalt cordless. 20 volt 
20 volt. And it's just a good one. What are you using that little piece of board for? Uh, you'll notice it's got a mark on each end. That's an inch and a quarter. And what I'm doing is I'm drilling screw holes exactly at an inch and a quarter from each edge. And that leaves three inches in the middle. Just so that they're spaced properly and they look uniform. Oh. I mean, we don't want uneven screws on our deck. No, we? of course not. So you pre-drilled the holes and now you're putting the screws in. Right. How far apart are you positioning of those now, those screws? These right here? Yeah. I'm just centering them between the uh, rows. Just to hold down the front board better? Just hold down the front bit. Okay. We're putting the last board on the deck. We've already put our picnic table out here because we just couldn't wait to sit out here and enjoy the area. I have some planters I'll be planting and I'll take a photograph of that for my thumbnail. The finishing touch, hubby added a little extra step onto the deck. It will stabilize us when we step off from the deck onto the RV steps. Video, give us a thumbs up, make a comment, and we'd love to have you as a subscriber. Thanks, hubby. Bye. Okay, YouTube, this is what cabin fever looks like. Are you experiencing cabin fever? Yes. What I are some of the signs of cabin fever? I got it bad. So tell me what some of your signs are. Um, frustration. Uh, desire to get out and just do something, anything, rather than stay in this cabin and fuss with my wife. <laughs>